So I'll stick this battery on and then I'll come back. So there's what it looks like with my homemade battery attached and the camcorder is much lighter now. And uh, let's turn it on, let's put it in the VCR mode. And if you look there, ah, there we go. I had to turn the exposure way down, but you can see the tape counter there. There's no tape inserted. Oh, I just thought of something. Um, you might have noticed uh, a very, very fundamental function uh, that is missing from this camcorder. And that is a tape speed select function. Uh, would you believe this camcorder, a VHS camcorder, and one of the top benefits of VHS is its long recording time, especially when you're in the LP or EP mode. This camcorder does not let you record in the LP or EP modes. It is SP only, and I think that is terrible. Y you get lower video quality, yeah, but the long recording time would have been such a benefit on a camcorder like this, but such is the way it is. Um, as a matter of fact, this camcorder isn't even capable of playing back an LP or EP recording. Uh, watch what this thing does when you try to play back uh, an, an EP recording. So yeah, as you can see, uh, this thing is completely useless when it comes to LP or EP recording or playback, which is too bad. I think they should have done that. I don't think any tape-based camcorder should lack that functionality, but that's just the way it was. Oh well. Let me eject. So we hit eject, and there it is. And you can see the uh, VCR in there. Uh, here's another, what I think is an unfortunate design choice of this camcorder. The VCR is a two-head design. I think that's really unfortunate, a two-head design. Uh, I don't think any uh, piece of equipment as expensive as a camcorder, and this was a five or six hundred dollar camcorder in its day, should have a two-head deck. It should have been four-head, no questions asked. I think that was another you know, I understand it was a bottom-end camcorder, but I think these things are just, for something as expensive as any camcorder, it's just fundamental things that should have been on it that were left off. Uh, the uh, ability to record an LP or EP and a four-head deck that would give you better recording quality. Uh, they shouldn't have done that. That's too bad. It does, however, have a flying erase head at least. So if we look at the head drum... There's one head, two heads, nothing, and then three heads. So it's got two record playback heads and it does have a flying erase head which is good. What the flying erase head does is it lets you make, when you stop and start recordings, the cut between scenes is very clean. If you take an ordinary VCR, you know that if you record something, stop recording, and then start recording again later, you get a lot of noise uh, between those two recordings. And the reason it's so clean on a camcorder is because a camcorder has what's called a flying erase head, meaning the erase head is on the head drum itself. It's not a linear erase head. So uh, it's able to make a really clean, sharp cut between scenes. So I have a cassette. This is my uh, standard uh, demo cassette that I use on all my VHS YouTube videos, my Polaroid Super Color cassette. I like this, it's a very good quality cassette. Stick it in there. So we're still turned on in the uh, playback mode. And uh, what I'll do is turn my video light off first of all. I'll press play and you'll hear it load the tape and start playing it. And now it's playing. And if we look here, you can see the tape turning. And uh, if I turn my exposure down again, there you go. That's a recording I, I made on it earlier. 
and we can do Q and review here. So this is a Q. And this is a review. And stop. We can do a fast forward and rewind. This is quite slow at fast forward and rewinding, but I'll do a fast forward here. And I'll do a rewind. Alright, let's put this thing into the uh, VCR mode, or the uh, camcorder mode, the record mode. So when you go into the record mode, it prepares itself, it, it winds the tape around the head, and the head drum is running. And if we look on the display here, well, you see nothing because the lens cap is off. Once I pop off the lens cap, there's our image. This thing has a one third inch CCD, and it's quite good quality. They didn't skimp on the uh, CCD in this thing. Right up there you can see a battery icon, a representation of your battery life. Notice the word index there. Um, this camcorder does kind of a neat thing. Uh, each time you turn it on, uh, as long as it's been off for at least four hours, uh, the camcorder will automatically record an electronic uh, out of band index mark on the cassette and this way when you stick the cassette in uh, a VCR that supports the same index feature it was a standardized feature among high-end uh, VCR decks you could turn on this indexing feature and basically the uh, VCR when you rewind and fast forward would automatically stop at these index marks so if I made a recording on this one day put it away for a day and turned it on the next day and made a recording and I stuck the tape later in my VCR that had an index function on it and I rewound or fast forward the tape the VCR would automatically stop at the point between the two different days I did recording and th the thing just automatically shut itself off because I haven't made any recordings on it saves wear on the tape so uh, yeah that's kind of a neat feature turn it back on you get a tape meter showing how much of the tape is remaining. And right here you see AE60. AE means automatic exposure. And the 60 means that the electronic shutter speed is currently 1 60th of a second. This is really cool. This thing actually tells you how fast the shutters, uh, how fast the electronic shutter speed is. And it automatically updates. Uh, like for example, if I zoom up on this uh, light. The camcorder won't focus on it, but pointing it at the light, it says AE120. Because the shutter speed becomes faster to compensate for the brighter light. It goes between 1 60th of a second and I believe 1 2,000th of a second. So, I say it is high time to make a recording on this thing. So let's do that now. Okay, we are now recording on the RCA CC413. VHS camcorder from 1994. Here's my uh, Sony Digital 8 camcorder that the rest of this video has been filmed with. And uh, we can zoom. And the zoom works really nice. Autofocus works very well. So let's take a walk here. And uh, <laughs> here I am. Wow. And of course, as uh, my friend Callum pointed out one day, I am indeed uh, what would be called left eye dominant. I like to use my left eye for viewfinders and stuff. But it looks more natural when you use the eye that's on the side of the camcorder itself. And the thing does 
uh, retract like this to let you use either eye, which is very nice. Uh, this being a full size shoulder mount camcorder is surprisingly easy to hold or, uh, and, and surprisingly comfortable. I'm very surprised. This is very comfortable to maneuver. It's not painful or annoying on the shoulder or anything. I don't know if I ever pointed out, but it does have the hand strap right here. And the lens cap just hangs down annoyingly. And uh, with this really light lithium ion battery pack, I'm just able to hold the camcorder without being on my shoulder like a handy cam, but it's very uncomfortable and I would imagine it wouldn't take too much of that before either the strap or the plastic lugs it's attached to break. But it's it's very easy to uh, maneuver. I only wish the eyepiece would do a, would tilt horizontally because it's not flush against my eye. I gotta turn my head like this and now it's flush against my eye and that's more comfortable on my eye. Now what's so nice about a f shoulder mount camcorder is that you don't really need image stabilization. The picture is inherently stable because it's on your shoulder. So it's not jittering around a lot and you have to turn your whole body to pan the shot. And it makes for very smooth action. But tilting up and down is a little bit difficult because you got to hold on the camcorder. Tilting up's not too far, but tilting down requires some arm work. But as long as you're straight, it's not too hard on your arm. And uh, surprisingly, in the test recordings I've done on this, there's really no problem with it tilting like this. It's just already straight on your shoulder. I guess I have really straight shoulders. And of course this homemade battery pack is so wonderful. Battery meter showing full. I bet this could go for hours on this 2 amp hour battery. Tonight, Sunday, and Sunday night. Fredericton and Southern York County, Stanley, Doketown, Blackville area. Oromocto and Sunbury County, Grand Lake and Queens County. For tonight, clearing this evening. Fog patches developing overnight. Low 13. For Sunday, clearing. Fog patches dissipating in the morning. Winds becoming south 20 kilometers per hour in the afternoon. High 26, Humidex 31, Maximum UV Index. Very good macro mode. It's not quite good enough to focus on stuff right against the lens, but it can focus on stuff just like half an inch from the lens. Or an inch. Very good. Let's see if I can do a selfie here. Ugh. There we go, one-armed VHS camcorder selfie. Let me get up to the mirror here. <laughs> oh man, very cool, very, very cool. I like this camcorder. Oh, let me show you the uh, titler function as well. So this lets you store uh, two titles, and they can be uh, two lines each. Uh, each line is 32 characters long. So here's the first title. There's the first title I have, and then I'll switch to the second title. So there you go. So you can just turn that on and off, switch between them, and uh, unfortunately you very obviously hear uh, the uh, sound of the micro switch when I turn it on and off. 
and I don't think there's a function to automatically superimpose the title and then remove it. It's just on or off. But uh, there's that anyhow. And the time and date, which I haven't set, can be brought up. It says July 1st, or January 1st, 1994. This camcorder has an internal rechargeable watch battery inside it, like a CR2032 or something like that, but it's rechargeable. And it charges when the camcorder is connected to power. But because this thing's 22 years old and it hasn't been used for the last 15 years, it's probably no good anymore. But I could be wrong. Perhaps I'll check it out sometime. Take the battery, take this battery out. I've had it in here for a couple of days and uh, see if it holds the time and date for a week or so. And the zoom is variable speed. Uh, I just lightly, it's hard to vary, to vary the speed, but that's the slow speed. Let me go back at the slow speed. Slow, faster, and full speed. So that's nice to have. So we've been recording directly onto VHS tape. Uh, let me show you what the video and sound quality is like going directly onto Digital 8. So I'll have this camcorder connected to my Digital 8 there. Uh, through the composite video, there will be no tape. It'll be direct to Digital 8, so you can see what the quality of the video and sound is like without the quality loss of being on VHS tape. And here this is, directly connected to my Digital A camcorder. So we're, we're not recording on the VHS. It's going straight to Digital A so you don't get that quality loss. So it's probably much better quality. So there you go, that's a direct recording onto Digital 8. So there you go folks, that's pretty much all there is to show of the RCA model CC413 VHS camcorder from 1994. I think this is a very nice camcorder. Uh, it's got a couple of design choices which I do not agree with. Um, a two head VCR should not have been done on an expensive piece of equipment like this and uh, it should have had the ability to record in EP or LP modes but other than that it's a very nice camcorder these RCA camcorders are known for their very good build quality they don't really develop problems due to age at least uh, ones of this age haven't yet and uh, the video quality and audio quality is very good for what you get the titler function is nice and the uh, editing features you get in the record mode are very nice and this thing works wonderfully with my homemade lithium ion battery pack. So there you go. From 1994, purchased by my grandfather. There's this camcorder. I hope you've enjoyed. It's very nice. I do want to someday get one of the later ones that actually have a flip out LCD display and a color viewfinder because I think that's just too cool. But this camcorder's cool as well. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video.